Hey everybody, welcome back to Plum Figgy. This is Tammy. Uh, let me pull you down just a little bit. There we go. Now you can see better. Okay, so let's keep working on this little journal that I started last time. Um, yeah, I really like this. This is really kind of fun. So I went ahead and put together a signature of um, papers. And these are just, again, scraps that I've had. Um, so I've got, um, this actually came from a Christmas journal that I had done just so, and then probably some distress stain on top of that. That's kind of got a sheen to it. And then, um, turned that into a pocket. So I'm going to at least sew the pocket down. This is some packing paper. Here is some, you know what, that's looking a little bit upside down to me. Let's fix that. That looks better. <laughs> Uh, this is just some scrapbooking paper that's been tea dyed. Um, same with this. This was a vintage, um, maybe antique, um, piece of music, uh, piano music. Um, so there's that. Some more packing paper, some more scrapbook paper. Again, I turned that into a pocket. Scrapbook paper, all of this has been tea dyed, and so then there you go. So, um, I want to go ahead and do a little bit of decorating with some of the scraps from this. Um, so, I've got these bits and pieces that were, um, you know, left over from tearing down this um, page. Uh, so, these could become kind of interesting. I like this um, stripe, that's really cool. Oh. This was another piece that I had pulled out to use somehow. Um, could become a nice big pocket, maybe. Um, and then here are some more of the scraps from um, tearing down the side of the paper. So let's go ahead and use some of that. And then I still have, like, well, this whole thing still sitting over here. I've got my Tim Holtz dolls. Um, and some more music. I really liked... Well, let's pull this out. This might be a good thing to tuck. Really liked that. Um, I really liked the bugs. Let's keep this out. And these. And that. And this. Use this somewhere. We've got our mat pieces. I liked this piece of ribbon here. And this. And I think that should be plenty. Let's maybe use this piece too. Um, for this, I don't want to go crazy because, um, and here's our other cover that I had started. So we'll decorate that one too at some point. Uh, not today because I won't have time. But um, yeah, I don't want to go crazy with the decorations. Oh, you know what? I have this sitting over here too. I think this would be really cool to use in here somewhere also. Um and even this, potentially. So, okay, so let's get started. And I still have my um, sorry silk sitting over here as well. So we might, uh, we might uh, incorporate some of that. But where I was trying to go with this was, this is gonna be a bit of a snug journal just because of the way that the cover is. And I know it will eventually conform to the pages, but I don't want to bulk it up too much uh, so that it's not really writing writable. Like I want, I want whoever, even if it's just me, if I decide to keep this in the end, I don't know if I will or not. But um, I want to make sure that it's usable. You know, like you can write in it. <laughs> so, okay, I tend to. Hi, Oliver. Um, I tend to like. To, I can make sure I'm still here. Um, organize my pieces of scraps by size. I don't know. I'm weird like that, I guess. But <laughs> Okay, let's go ahead and just get started on this first page. So one thing I do like to do is I like to kind of keep in mind what I've got going on that very first inside front cover um, before I do a lot of interesting things. Oh, you know what else I need? Um, let's see. Do I want walnut stain or do I want dark gray? I feel like I used gray. Maybe it doesn't really matter. Uh, let's just, for differences, I'm going to use the rain cloud this time. 
just because it's different. So, um, okay, so let's just do some collaging, see how far we can get. Um, I'm a little bit limited on time at the moment, so I'm not going to be able to do tons and tons today, but, you know, we can get started anyway. Uh-oh, Oliver's being a bully. <laughs> he snuck up on Sophie, and she did not like that just now. <laughs> You got some hisses. <laughs> okay, so yeah. Um, I think I'm going to grab a little clip here just to kind of hold things together. That'll help me out. Okay. So I was liking this. Maybe the special delivery could go over it. Um, or, let's see, I've got little pieces here. Ooh, this one is good. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to, I'm just going to put this down next to me. That way I can quickly ink things up and it won't be quite as distracting for you guys, hopefully. So I hope everyone had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Um, mine was a bit quieter. Mine got extended uh, for a bit of time. Uh, my mom, unfortunately, got um, some kind of bug or something. We don't know yet if it was COVID. She's still waiting on hearing back, um, but we obviously didn't want to, um, have Christmas, you know, a Christmas. <laughs> we don't want to have Thanksgiving, uh, when she was still not feeling good. So, um, that got extended a little bit. So we'll do some more celebrating, um, this next Saturday, looks like. So, okay. I like this. I'm gonna maybe, yeah, I'm just gonna take this and do a zigzag stitch with my sewing machine. Which is not even on yet, but we're getting there. All right. sewing machine will make an appearance this morning here and there so and I think I'm just gonna um, let's see we could put this over here and then turn that into a tuck spot let's do that let me get my glue it's not gonna be the sturdiest of tuck spots but it'll be fine who wants to work? There we go. Maybe it'll stick. <laughs> okay. And just glue this down. And then We've got we've got things here that could turn into a nice little uh, journaling card easily enough here. So let's see. I don't love those together. Let's put that there. Um, Do I want to do that? Let's see. Yeah, I'll just fold that kind of along that line there. There we go. Okay, page one done. And then I need to, I'm going to zigzag stitch up the sides of both of those. Okay. 
So that pocket is there. We've got ourselves a nice little pocket here on both sides. Um, you obviously will want to tuck something into here. I wonder, is that too Christmassy? <laughs> Maybe a little. Um, let's see. No, I don't like that. It's a little matchy matchy. Let's see. Oh, you know what I could do? I could turn this into a double tuck. Double tuck? Should we do that? And then I can decorate this just a little bit um, with something. Let's see here. Find my tiny people. Um, I also have just various ephemera here as well that I can use, so let's see. Oh, you know what? I've been wanting to use this and I still haven't really. Maybe this will work in this journal. Got some Art Nouveau. The stickers. I don't know that that's quite right. Books. Oh, books on book spines might work. Let's pull those out. There's a nice piece of scratch paper. And some leaves randomly. And then let's see what we got in here. Let me pull out a couple of these. Just trying to find things that'll kind of go. All right. That should be good. I'm not going to use all of it probably, but some of it. Okay. I got some more little pieces here too, just tea dyed paper. So actually, I wonder. I wonder, move those over there. Let's get two of them there. a couple of book spines on the side there. Here we go. This one's better. This is me thinking ahead. <laughs> Working ahead. Okay, what do I got going on? Oh, these. These are cool. Okay, let me pull one of these off. We'll use this somewhere. The light bulb. These are supposed to be post-it notes or something, but I just want to use them as ephemera because I think they work better that way. All right, so we've got a lot of things going on here. Um, I definitely like this idea. Let me clamp that down there. So maybe I'll start there and then we can work our way back towards that other thing. Um, So the trick that I've found is, oh, my nails are absolutely horrible right now. So, so sorry about that. Okay. So, um, 
just pull this away and then once I get that started then I'll put my glue down but I've found that sometimes these things just take forever to get the backing off and then your glues dry by time you uh, by time you get it there get it ready um, so I think we're close here okay so now put some glue down and actually I might just stick it down there we go don't always do it that way but that sure worked well so <laughs> why not I sure like that page a lot. Okay, now back over to here. I pulled this out and I thought, well, this could be kind of interesting instead. Um, wouldn't make as deep of a pocket though. So not as usable as this. So maybe let's just keep with this one anyway. Sorry, my heater's gonna kick in and um, be a little bit annoying once in a while here, I apologize. Okay, um, let's see what I can find here. I might find something interesting. Enjoy the journey. Never lose your sense of... Oh, what do we got going on here? I forgot I had these in here. Let's see. Newsroom, high middle ages, chancery, bank, position, post. Well, those are different. <laughs> I don't know that I'll use those. Um... But okay, these are the ones that are more hallow uh, Halloween. These are uh, these are more seasonal. Snarky. I don't want to do those. I'm not a fan of those. Maybe for my stuff, but not for things that I'm going to sell. Um, how about this one? It says, remember the now. Okay, but before I really stick it down. Um, I want to find something else to add. We could add a bit of this. Oh, these scissors are <laughs> just not good. Okay, so just stick that there for a minute. this up a little bit and then I wonder if I can get her to sit kind of like on here yep I like that so add her This, where's my tweezers? Here we go. Okay. 
Okay, and then I'm gonna do a stitch. Um, does this need more? No, I think it's fine. Um, I guess, although just a little bit of green might be kind of cool. a little too much green. Hmm. Pull this off. Oh, this is cool. I like this one better. And I'm going to cut it a little tighter to the plant. Okay, so let's just stick that there. Yeah, that'll be that'll be better. More is more, right? <laughs> there we go. I like that. It just needed that little something more. So, okay. Here's this close up. Before I sew around it. So let me sew and then I'll be right back. Okay, so after it's been sewn, I just did a simple straight stitch there. Um, and then let's go ahead and glue this down. And give it kind of a bit of glue because I just want to make sure it stays. Alrighty. And then in the pocket, I kind of like this. This is a sticker. Or maybe it's just, maybe it's not a sticker. Maybe it's just a little thing that you can glue somewhere. But I kind of like that sticking out. And then, let's see. This is a bit big, but trim this in half. Trim it down. Now, do I like this side better? I do like that side. Or this side. Either one. I think this side. Okay, that page is done. I like it. Let me check my time here. Okay. All right, so let's see. We've got ourselves this. We to do oh I was thinking too maybe I stick one of these in here like that one of these bigger ones Very cute. Okay, that page is done. <laughs> okay, now moving on. Um, what could we do on this page? Turn this into a tuck spot, maybe. What do we got on the other side? Okay, so I'm not going to want to. I kind of like that. I kind of like this side better. I'm not going to want to um, sew on this, so um, I need to think about that. Uh, let's see. We've got, let's see, a bit of this color would be nice, so let me take that. 
and a bit of this. This direction, yep. And didn't really want to cover up those numbers, but I could. Oh, here. Do I like the blue or do I like the red? Maybe the blue, because there's red over here. Okay. So let's just do a little, do a little collage here. So put a little glue there and we can attach this. I want to ink around this though. done that first huh oh well and then this one too like so that can stick out just a little bit I'm going to add some distress to this piece guys I'm sorry I'm a little quiet today uh, you know life I mentioned in the last video has gotten busier for a good reason um, and um, just sometimes I feel a little quieter you know <laughs> so I apologize for that um, let's see I gotta remember which side is gonna stick out so this side okay don't want to put glue all the way to that edge And, you know, we could do some messy stitching on here, too. No. It's too much. Oh, my gosh. All these annoying little notifications <laughs> that just never seem to end sometimes. I don't know if you guys get those, too, but... My weekly neighborhood report and things like that. I'm like, I really don't care. <laughs> oh, stop sending me things. Okay. Um, I feel like we need uh maybe one of these guys here. So didn't really intend to turn this into a Tim Holtz doll journal, but maybe we will do that. I did like this little girl. Maybe we'll find her in a smaller size. That's cute. Have her cover cover the numbers. More right there. I don't know. More right there. Oliver, what you doing? Okay, so she's there now. Um, I've just got these kind of sitting here. I'm wondering...
that too much? <laughs> it doesn't make sense, does it? Okay. Let's take off three of these here. It's almost like it's too much. Maybe it's just not in the right place. I don't know that I want to cover up the 19 um, for some strange reason, but maybe down here it makes more sense. Nope, we're not going to use that. Okay. I'm just going to glue that down. And then we've got maybe this piece here. Oh, that's interesting. That's very interesting. I like that. Okay. And then this page, I think can be left alone. I don't know that I want to decorate every single page in this little journal, so. Yeah. Um, two good pages for writing. Let's do something on this page now. Uh, let's see. Maybe we do something with that arrow here. We've got bugs. Ooh, I like that. That's pretty cool. Uh, let me dot, uh, ink around that. And then we could turn that into a tuck spot very easily, but I'm going to sew around the edges of that one first. Here's this. So I'm going to glue this down. Again, being kind of generous with my glue. Make sure it really sticks. And then what can we put inside? We've got that thing. Let's see. Well, we've got this. Would this fit? No, that's not big enough. Or it's too big. Um, let's see. Here we go. Let's turn this into a tuck spot here. There we go. Yep. And then no, I don't like that either. <laughs> it just doesn't look quite right. Um, I could add this here.
Let's do this. We've got a bit of this piece here. Rip this in half. Ink around that. Get a little bit of color on there. Still grungy. on top. These, by the way, are Tim Holtz, um, but very, very old Tim Holtz. So I don't know that you could even get them anymore. Um, I know I've tried to find them and I, I haven't been able to find any. Um, but if you find them, get them because I like them. Get them because I like them. I mean, there's no other reason to get them. <laughs> oh gosh, don't do that. But <laughs> they're really cool. Um, so here's a closer look at how that kind of, I like this that's kind of dripping down. It's like supposed to be like tin uh, or like the side of a building, like a metal building. Um, so yeah, really cool. Okay, so. Oh, you know what? Her little foot's sticking down there. Let me see if I can fix that and make it blend in a little bit. There. It's still kind of weird, isn't it? <laughs> It'll blend in. It'll be fine. <laughs> okay, so there's that page. That'll dry better. Um, This page is really interesting. I don't know... I feel like it needs something, but at the same time, what? I could do this. Hmm. Okay, let me ink around the back side of this. And then I'm going to glue that down. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. And I'm going to do a quick zigzag stitch there. Okay. And then, do you know what I just did? It's upside down. <laughs> That's fine. It doesn't matter if the bigger line is down here or the open space is down there. It'll be fine. <laughs> but then I was just thinking um, I could glue this down and make another little tuck spot. Like this. And then what can we put into our newly created pockets? Let's see. What do we got here? Um. <laughs> could stick some of that in there. For extra um, use in the journal, yeah. And then, actually, I kind of like this idea with this one. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. So then, now you've got a bit more writing space here, and then a built-in little um, pocket as well, like so. Um, and it'll stay closed, you know, um, because the paper will be such in a way that it will keep it tidy. Okay, um, let's see. What do we want to do on this page? Hmm. 
I hate to cover this, but at the same time, it's not overly useful. Um, I have these, like, card, index cards for me that are kind of like a fake. No, that's too big, but I'll keep this out. Let's see. Um, well, I was thinking I could turn this into kind of like a flap that flips open like that for more journaling space. So why don't I do that? Oops. Actually, that's a bit too tall. Um, okay, so to do this, I'm gonna take this out. And I always stick my thing like that so that when I come back to it, I know where that should be. And then, okay, so this needs to go like this. So I'll open this. And then I'm going to do a zigzag stitch straight down the middle of this. That way it'll catch both sides and then it'll easily fold. So it needs to be a bigger zigzag stitch, probably like a four and a half or five width. Um, if you have a sewing machine that does it like that. Okay, well, my sewing machine is giving me some fits today. I think the tension is off or something. Um, so it didn't do as good of a job, but actually for this journal, it's kind of perfect. Um, but essentially what you want to do is give more gap between the two papers than I did. So that way you don't have any buckling and it'll just fold over nicely for you. Okay, so then let's pull this back in and put our signature back together. This is going to get a little bit chunky, guys. <laughs> I need to maybe not add quite so much or take a page out. I don't know. Um, okay, so we still have this little little guy. Maybe we can put that there. That's kind of cool, actually. Oops. So I get glue everywhere. There we go. I like that. Alright, now, these are a bit too wide. These are almost too wide, huh? But this could become a nice little belly band. Let's see what we got in the next page. Oh, actually, maybe I like that better. It's a little sturdier. Um, or do I want it on that side? Yeah, maybe this side, because this page is nice, but it's not quite as sturdy. Um, you know, I could probably do this. I think around this. Okay, let's do that, and then I'm going to add more to this page. Um, we've got little bits and pieces of scrap. Okay, I'm going to glue this down so I don't need to think about it anymore, and it'll give more stability to this paper, which is kind of what we need to do. Oh, we could add another one of those green things somehow. Ink around this. <clears throat> Carefully, <laughs> so I don't rip it in half. 
And then I'll just add this to the page. I feel like this is up. Keep an eye on my time. I'm getting close to running out of time here, so this might be our final page for today. Alright, and I like to do it a little bit off kilter. Okay. Um, delivery no oh you know what we should do we should add some sorry soap to the side I'll do that instead now that I've just totally ripped this up a little bit more color here. Um, so for the colors we've got kind of burgundies and pinks and blues and a purple. We could do that could be interesting. I could kind of just wrap around the whole thing, but actually, no, I don't think I want to do that one. Um, that's pretty bright. This green is awfully cool too, but oh, here. This is kind of more what I was thinking. see yellow and get a little bit of polka dot in there actually maybe this one I like better save those for another page Let's do this. Okay. So what I tend to like to do, I'm gonna stick this down there just to protect my other page, um, is I'll just put some glue stick down first and then kind of arrange this how I want it to be. Like so. And we can scrunch it up here and there to make it kind of more ruffly. And then I'll take this, yes, perfect, to the okay. sewing machine. Yep, my tension is definitely off on my sewing machine. <laughs> I did not like that at all either, but yeah, so here's the back side. Um, that's okay. This is a junk journal. It's meant to be junky. Um, so actually, you know, I'll just leave that alone. Cut this one just a little shorter. I've got kind of a little, I don't know how well you can see there, uh, a little something happening there. <laughs> so, okay, so back together yep that's exactly what I wanted it's kind of sticking out on the side and just adding some more interest there so here is that page got a little bit of something there you've got a little bit more room for writing down there if you wanted to or even we could do that I suppose but I don't think I even want to do that so um, okay, or we could even add this down here, but again, it's just a bit much for me. So 
This side now is uh, more sturdy to ride on because I added that page there. Um, and then I do like how this looks here. It's a little bit wide though. So I'm going to trim that just a little bit on both sides. Just get rid of some of that width. And then I'm going to ink around the edges of that. Okay, and then this needs to be put onto something. Um, because it's obviously, um, a sticker that's not wide enough. Let's see what we got here. Another perfect little journaling piece there. So we could stick it on here, but... Maybe that's not so bad. Okay, let me rip this. Okay. Take that off the backing. Okay, and then I'm going to do some messy stitching on the right hand sides. Um, do I want to stitch? Well, it wouldn't kill it, I suppose. I need to sew this. You know what I'll do? Hmm, do I want to do that? <laughs> I was just thinking maybe um, maybe I do a straight stitch on both sides the whole way, but I don't know if I want to do that either. It kind of works perfectly there though, doesn't it? Um, I'm just going to messy stitch on this and then I'll stitch this pocket up and then that That'll have to be it for today. Okay, so that's how that turned out. Um, I'm going to not sew up these pockets today. Uh, I'm going to fix my sewing machine before I do that because it's just making a mess of everything at the moment. But that's going to be our belly band. So let's just go ahead and... Oh my gosh. <laughs> Use a little bit of fabric tac for this because of that thread is kind of crazy but I left some of the thread hanging I think sometimes that's kind of fun to do and then we've got ourselves a belly band so we can add something more to that little pocket whoops right side up <laughs> okay Make sure it's straight oh my gosh Got glue everywhere. Okay, that's gonna need to dry for a bit, but um, but that's a really cute little belly band. 
So let's see, what can we fit in there? This will be tucked inside, yes, like so. Um, we've just pulled this out. I guess I could maybe it needs to be a little bit wider. Well, I kind of like that. That's kind of cool. How about we do that? Do both ends. And then I'm going to ink around the edges of this. So, we got about halfway through it. Anyway, um... This will be a really fun little journal in the end. Um, at the moment, I don't know that I will keep it, so um, probably will end up putting this for sale in my Etsy shop. Actually, probably what I'll do is do this little other one too. We can have a little pair for sale. Okay, so here's that. Really, really cool. That's a perfect size for a photo or something. And that'll stick right in there. So, how fun. It's darling, but at the same time, I like how um, grungy it became from uh, just doing that little bit. You know, and I didn't do anything on the inside of this, but potentially I could. I don't know that I want to add much more bulk. I mean, you've got room for writing on both sides here. And then maybe a photo or something if you wanted to put a photo there. Um, but, yeah. So, alright guys. Well, let's stick this back into its little cover. See how chunky it is now. <laughs> it's going to be so, gonna be so chunky. <laughs> um, that's cool, though. And I'll have to come up with some kind of closure, obviously. Um, if it's connected or probably what I'll do is just wrap something around it. Um, but yeah, so there we have it guys. Um, this is going to become a fun little, fun little journal. Um, it's, yeah, it's already kind of chunky, so I need to kind of be careful how much more I add, but, um, I'm really liking it. So there we go. That's what we did today. Oh, I need to. Maybe keep this open <laughs> so it doesn't glue all the pages together. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, okay. Well, hope you had fun with me today, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!